Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. As you can see, we're up to 0.55% today. Really good day, and um, this support line here, this trend line is holding. Every time we get close to it, we basically bounce. And the question is whether or not we manage to break above the 150 moving average in the next um, few trading days. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is becoming bullish. It's just crossing the signal line here in bullish territory. RSI is very bullish, uh, almost overbought at this point. The CCI is very bullish, shows the stochastic, and we are approaching the top of the bullish band. So we may see a pullback when we get to roughly 126, which is also the previous highs here where we got rejected at the at um, 150 uh, so pull back from here and another rally then we could basically see this going back to well uh, above the 150 and that could mean that we'll go and retest the previous highs here again this was an etf that was absolutely uh, slaughtered um, from february all the way to uh, mid may it lost roughly 40 percent of its value and um, then it technically now has recovered well uh, roughly half of that what we basically lost so let's look at dvi so dvi got rejected at 100 moving average uh, tried to rally yesterday and today we fell apart yet again minus uh, 1.28 percent to the downside below the middle of the bullish band and at this point we could be heading back towards 150 the moving average and that's a drop of roughly 2.24 percent to the downside macd is still bullish but it's turning around the rsi is bearish the cci is becoming bearish and stochastic is bearish as well so momentum looks like it is basically to the downside and 150 should be the floor in the market break below the 100 and then we are basically seeing a tidal wave to the downside and of course that will be uh, very significant for the market as a whole if you look at this from a long-term perspective, we can see that we are actually making lower lows. So this bottom here could basically mean that in the long run, we basically could be heading towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at VTI. So VTI is still in this very nice uptrend. 20 exponential, 40, 50, all offer massive support. We are down roughly 0.45% at this current stage, above the middle of the bullish band, and basically middle of the top of the hair, so we're, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is becoming bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, and the uh, stochastic is bearish at this point. So momentum is kind of to the downside, market is, well, slowing down, um, probably all towards uh, the Fridays when the job numbers is basically released. So um, we could see this probably fall towards the uh, 20 or the 40, probably more than likely the 20 before continuing higher. So let's look at MCHI. Yes, it has recovered a bit after this uh, really nasty fall. We're approaching the 20 exponential, which has been uh, massive support resistant in the past. We can see it here. Fell down also here, fell down really hard. And now we could be seeing uh, another test at the 20 exponential or apparently where we get to the top middle of the bullish band and basically we could be heading down. So we were significantly oversold. So this was always going to correct. Uh, question is whether or not we get back towards the 100 and 250, 150 moving average or we just continue going lower in this market. MACD is still bearish, but it's becoming, uh, uh, it's about to cross the signal line, becoming bullish. RSI is flat. CCI is also flat. Stochastic is bullish at this point. But we need to break above the middle of the bullish band at 75 in order to go back towards 80 and 85 and so on. So let's look at IBB. So IBB is still in this really nice upper channel bouncing off the 50, 40, and the 20 exponential. And, uh, well, we're basically in the middle of nowhere at this point. Uh, 
buying the uh, the dips is basically uh, the best strategy here but at the moment is a waiting game macd is becoming bearish rsi is flat cci is flat as the stochastic is flat as well so break uh, beneath um, the bottom, middle of the bullish band that could open the door all the way down to 430 that is a drop of roughly 2.57% uh, to the downside and that is probably as good as this um, gets. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.